I can't sleep. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know, it's going so good I haven't missed any classes, but it's like, what am I going to do? It's almost 6 in the morning. Do I, I can't fall asleep. And then I get two hours of sleep or three hours of sleep and then go to my 11 o'clock class. It's like I can't be conscious and then try to be productive. I'm supposed to do that on like two hours sleep? No way. <sighs> it just sucks. I mean, what do I do? I don't know. Whatever. <sighs> I feel like shit. I gotta get something to eat. And, I don't know. I'll probably take some B-roll footage of what's going on in my room. <laughs> so we have some cutaways. <laughs> and I'll make a decision about what I do for tomorrow. Who knows? I don't know. This is a no strip, by the way. It usually helps me sleep and relax and get some normal rhythmic breathing going, but not today. Not today. David has probably never stopped to think what a wonderful thing sleep is. In sleep, the muscles of the body are relaxed. It's the most perfect way to relax that we have. Our breathing is slower and deeper when we sleep. The body's temperature is lower. Even the heart beats more slowly. The whole body is resting. I thought I had sleep apnea since a few years ago when my girlfriend looked at me and while I was sleeping and saw that I would stop breathing. And I, I was constantly tired and restless and I, I just felt tired all the time. So I thought, put two and two together, that maybe stopping breathing and being tired all the time are pretty good symptoms for sleep apnea. When I first started dating Jeremy, I woke up several times in the night to sounds of him gasping for air. And I was horrified and terrified. I didn't know what was going on. I thought he might be dying. <laughs> to rest all our muscles, we turn in our sleep. Some people turn often, others not so often, but we all do it. It's a normal part of sound, healthy sleep. I wake up in the middle of the night to find that Jeremy's tossing and turning and kicking me and the covers are all on his side of the bed and it's uh, annoying, but luckily I'm a very good sleeper myself, so I get through it. Sleep apnea, what do you know about sleep apnea? I know that I have it and huh? I've, I've had it for about four years. How did you find out about it in the first place? Um, well, fortunately, I work for a respiratory company that deals with sleep apnea. So, um, being around the business and knowing the symptoms, I had a, uh, I was told that I wake up gasping for breath at night. And knowing, knowing the symptoms and knowing what sleep apnea is, I knew right away that there was a very good possibility that I had it. I also have trouble like concentrating and my, my brain doesn't work as well so it's, it's kind of hard when you're doing homework and you have to ha work at a cognitive level to answer questions and things just seem like they're in slow motion and the world just seems gray and blurry and, and it's not until later in the evening sometimes where I really feel like I'm awake and that results in me staying awake too late and I end up going to bed late and it screws me up even more so it's, it's a constant vicious cycle. Plenty of sleep helps you to be bright and alert to the very end of the day. But what about bad sleeping habits? George just doesn't get enough sleep. And now in the afternoon, he's tired. It's hard for him to pay attention in class. When the teacher calls on him, George just can't seem to remember things that he really ought to know. George doesn't realize it, but his main trouble is bad sleeping habits. For a long time, it was a big problem, and I found myself really angry at Jeremy a whole, a whole lot of the time. Um, recently, I've been able to re-look at the whole situation and realize that it is really a condition he is suffering from, and it's a disadvantage that he starts out with every day. 
it, it affects the joints. It affects every part of your body. You don't have much fun when you're tired and low in energy. Lack of sleep makes it hard for you to do your best. You just can't seem to get into the game and have fun the way the other fellas do. You're irritable and cross, hard to get along with. People don't like you, and you don't like yourself when you're like that. I get very tense, and like today I woke up abruptly, and I, my heart was racing, and I was just a angry and extra emotional because of it, and it's just, you feel like garbage, it feels like you have battery acid in your veins, and it's just disturbing to walk around like that, and you, you just want to go home and be alone so that you don't interact with people in a negative way, and yell at flip off the handle of somebody just because you're exhausted. It's not who I really am. My name's Tammy Roberts and I'm a registered respiratory therapist and sleep technician at Brooks Hospital, Brooks Memorial Hospital actually, in uh, Dunkirk, New York. You can have obstructive sleep apnea where you totally pause in your breathing and then snore to wake up. And then there's what we consider hypopneas where you still have a partial air going through your trachea and you also do snore to wake yourself up. And hypopneas are sometimes more common in people than total obstructions. Basically what happens with sleep apnea is um, the soft palate and the anoids and the tonsils, there's a muscle that holds those things in place during the day. And what happens when you go to sleep at night that muscle relaxes so your airway literally collapses and closes off. So you'll get the loud snoring and then they'll, they'll stop snoring for a while and then they'll <laughs> and they'll be okay for a few seconds and then they'll start snoring again and then eventually that'll close off again. <laughs> Well, uh, in order to schedule a sleep study for me, I called my doctor and let them know I've, I've had persistent problems with my sleep for ever since I can remember. And, and noticing the sleep apnea a few years ago, I really wanted to do something about it. But having insurance, not having insurance rather, has been a problem. So now that I have insurance, I called the doctor. They, I told them what my symptoms are and they said you might benefit from a sleep study. I think if Jeremy gets treated, uh, a whole new world of opportunities will open for him. He'll find that life, though it's challenging in itself, isn't as challenging as it has been up to this point um, for him. And if he can accomplish what he's accomplished to this 